All right, so I'm almost done with my 8.8 swap into the YJ. I've literally been sitting around the last couple days waiting for paint to dry, so it's taken a little bit longer than I thought it would. But today, I at least want to get this installed. This is a Spartan locker for the 8.8. .8. So I'm just going to run through how to do this real quick. I've actually never installed a locker in an 8.8, .8, but I can't imagine it's much different than any C-clip rear axle. The instructions aren't even really that good in my opinion. They don't even reference, or that in the pictures it doesn't even show an 8.8. .8. It shows a, a dropout center section for a 9 inch that they're installing and it just says for 4 to 8 inch or 9 inch but none of the photos reference what an 8 inch looks like. And I don't even see where they call out removing C-clips or anything. So. All right, we got 55 to 60 mile an hour wind gusts today, so if you hear a bunch of beating and banging, it's my garage door. All right, so this, these bolts are all 13. Whew, already smells like gear oil. I have a different cover going on, so I'm not going to be reusing this one. All right, let's get this cleaned up a little. Basically fall out. There it goes. <laughs> this little cross pin. Basically, just walk these spider gears up at this point. Make sure the thrust washer comes with it. So we're missing a thrust washer. Oh, there it is. Got it. Okay. Now I can push the axle in, the axle shaft in. Get the C clip out. Okay, there we go. Keep that guy. Good. Got that. Get these ears off with the thrust washer. Okay. See, this one's stuck. There we go. Now we can prep the locker. Okay, so spring in here. And then this in here, compress, insert pin, just like that, times four. Okay, so these are ready. Okay, let's get it all installed. So I'm gonna put the side gear on first. And the, the instructions don't mention a C-clip, at least mine don't, but I'm assuming this is when it goes back on. Alright, so C-clip, and lock it back out, like that. Now it's time for these guys. This goes like that. Okay, so this might all have to go in at the same time. Okay, like that. So we get the other one in there, you don't have to keep enough pressure on it. This side. Oh yeah, it's tight. Okay. It'd be really handy if this would stand up without assistance. There's definitely an order of operations to do this. It's like one of them puzzle boxes. I had to get a little creative with this, so I got this pushed as far left as I can. Now I can push the axle 
back in, the axle shaft back in, like that. Too far. Back out of there. Yeah, right there. Now I can get that C-clip in. Squeeze it right inside this little gap. Wow, that is... Okay, there we go. It feels seated. Pull the axle back out. I took quite a bit of finagling, but I think I'm getting close. I'm trying to keep all this lined up and not let the C-clips fall out at the same time is quite a challenge. Okay, I don't want to jinx myself, but I think I got it all lined up now. Start pulling these pins. So in between 145 and 170, and I can't get 176 in there, so so I think we're okay. It's pretty close, but I think we're all right. All right, so now I gotta get this lined up. That. Okay. New bolt with red Loctite already on it. All right. I'm gonna check that gap again with my feeler gauges. All right, let's get this mating surface cleaned up. I'm just gonna use a little, uh, like, scotch Bright pad, roll lock, whatever you wanna call it. Okay. Now would be the time to clean off your diff cover if you are reusing that. I'm going to be going with this. A solid cover. Oh yeah. Alright, I got a thin bead around the cover and the diff. All right, I'll let that tack up for about half an hour and I'll come back and torque them. I think I'm gonna go to 20 foot-pounds, 20 to 25 foot-pounds, I think is what I'm gonna do for these. All right, so that's all done. Just one thing to note, uh, the Spartan Locker does not fit the limited slip carrier. It's only for the open carrier. So if you have a worn out limited slip and you're looking to put a locker in it, uh, this isn't going to work. But there we go, I'll put some gear, gear oil in it tomorrow and it'll be ready to roll as soon as I bolt it in and hook up the brake lines. So here's a little teaser of what it looks like today. Um, I just got to get it in there and get it bolted up like I said and we should be ready to go. So full video about uh, swapping this in will be coming out shortly. Uh, it's 
considerably longer, but I wanted to get something out this week. I've been real busy in the shop too. I've rearranged just some stuff and I got some new toys coming in. Here's a sneak peek of that. I'm sure some of you guys will know exactly what that is. But uh, I'll probably make a video about that too, just like a kind of a shop update sort of thing. So, so that's it. I hope this was uh, useful for somebody if they're trying to swap in uh, Spartan. I will say C-clips are super annoying. And I think after this, whenever I re-gear this axle, I might go ahead and do a C-clip eliminator like the Ultimate 88 kit or something like that. That'll be super overkill for 35s, but then I'll have absolutely no worries about beating on this axle to death with my YJ. Alright, next video, this is going in.